Hello my friends, thank you so much for tuning in and welcome to my channel. We're going to be looking at a gorgeous, gorgeous cheek quad from NARS. Okay, let me start from the beginning. NARS has come out with a brand new collection called the Basic Instinct Basic Instinct Collection. Uh, I don't think you'd find this collection even on NARS's website, official website. This is an Ulta exclusive. There are four products, items in this collection. There are two cheek quads basic in basic instinct one and two and then there is like a lip kit which also has like two like a lighter version and then there's a darker version i picked up the basic instincts two quad look at the beauty she is gorgeous look at that wow so i believe these four blushes are permanent at least three of them are definitely are so let me quickly tell you where I got, but well, I got it at Ulta, and then these retail for thirty nine, if I'm not wrong. Yes, thirty nine dollars, and let me quickly tell you where these are made. Made in Canada, so we're gonna be doing swatches, brush swatches, finger swatches, uh, demo on the cheeks, this tutorial, this makeup look tutorial, everything. There's a lot in this uh, video, so stay put. Give this video a thumbs up and subscribe as well if you haven't already and hit also that notification bell too so and oh wait and we're going to be doing compare comparisons with all of these three cheek palettes these are like full full size cheek palettes these, these are like 60 dollars so and uh, they they started coming out with mostly blushes and just like one highlighter but now i think the orgasm uh, on the beach palette has like equal number of blushes and uh in a highlighter so we're gonna be swatching and seeing comparison and everything as well so let's get started um i'm just gonna be comparing things as i'm going so these three are full size so this one is uh wanted two and this is um exposed the one with the watercolors is exposed and then this is the orgasm on the beach so exposed and orgasm on the beach are baked products, baked jelly products. They look a little different, but they kind of are baked jelly products. So these two palettes are made in Italy. So these two are made in Italy. And the wanted palette is a powder formula. This is just like a wanted two, sorry. There's also wanted one, which I don't have. The wanted two palette is a completely powder formula. And so is this. The Basic Instinct 2 is also a powder formula. So these two are made in Canada. So the Big Jelly ones, Exposed and um, Orgasm on the Beach, Italy. And the powder formulas both are made in Canada. And this is 60. This is like no longer available. This is, I know, look at that. There is some similarities, right? For sure. <laughs> Absolutely. So yeah, we're going to definitely do a comparison, guys. So made in Canada and this does come with a mirror very pretty and the packaging is like a plastic but it kind of feels like a rubberized matte like smooth feel to it and then it just says NARS very basic but super sexy NARS packaging is so so good well thought out uh so yeah and but it's not magnetic none of the palettes are have magnetic closures or anything like that so let me quickly tell you how much you get in each pan um i believe you get four grams that is a good amount i don't know how much you get in the full size i'm sure i'm sorry i didn't do that little bit of research but you get four grams of product in each pan so four times four and i believe i'm positive this is exhibit a this is taj mahal and then this is torrid and this is savage hang on Torrid, Torrid, yeah, Torrid, Exhibit A, uh, Taj Mahal, and Savage. So these are the four blushes. I'm positive these three are available in like in the full size, in, in the permanent range. I'm not, I don't know about Savage. So let's get swatching, guys. So that is Torrid. Torrid is like a, hang on, let's just wipe my hands like really clean. So Torrid, as you can see, is looks like a pinky coral, but once it kind of touches the skin, it definitely has this reddish tone to it. I don't know if you can see, look at that. 
it's more red than pink honestly on my skin tone at least it pulls more red so that is uh, torrid then let's swatch savage savage is as you can see a torrid has like visible golden shimmers in it but savage is more like look at that it's so glowy it's gonna make your cheeks look super glowy it's more like a very it's, it's like a pearlized uh, finish and then exhibit a is completely matte it's a orangey red it's complete matte and then let's watch Taj Mahal Taj Mahal is also that pearlized shimmery version just like the finish is exactly same as savage and it's a straight up orange straight up orange blush super pretty so those are the four um shades let me quickly show you how it looks on the skin i'm gonna use like a denser brush i didn't use a dense brush when i was when i did like the demo on the cheek because i really I have all blushes on my cheek right now and by the way I'm not wearing any highlighter zero highlighter at the moment all the glow that you see are from the blush the glow is completely 100% the credit goes to the blush no highlighter today that's what torrid looks like Hang on. Hang on, let's see if I can I hope you can see a little bit of blush there that blushed look that's torrid and I, I gotta say it looks even in the demo you'd see it looks more red than pink that's torrid it looks more red than pink I gotta say I was expecting a, like a pink look but it looked definitely more red and then exhibit A is just red as you can see I hope I hope you're able to see properly so that's torrid and this is exhibit a exhibit a is a red blush so it's gonna look red obviously Taj Mahal is a one that looks distinctly different it looks so different look at that beautiful 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 sheen the Taj Mahal is very pretty and then finally we have savage Savage, maybe I'll do it here. Hang on, can you even see? Yeah. That is savage. That it definitely again it also looks reddish. So after applying this, playing around with this, and even the demo section, you'll see they all kind of look reddish on the cheek. I was expecting to a look like ex except for Taj Mahal. Taj Mahal definitely looks very orange and golden. It's a completely different blush. But uh, I got to say the rest of them kind of did look very reddish on the cheek. So you, I f <laughs> it looks so different, like you're getting a lot of variety. But I have to say, even Torrid. Torrid, I was a little bit disappointed because I was expecting it to give, be more pinker on me. But look at that. It looks kind of red. It looks that the first one is Torrid and look kind of, it looks reddish. Uh, so yeah, that's something I feel is like the downside with this um, blush palette, but otherwise with respect to quality and uh, the amount you get and how like sleek the palette is and you get like a mirror and the quality, everything is amazing, but except for, I don't know, they all look very, very reddish on the cheeks. So let's do some comparison, especially with the Wanted 2 palette. Um... This one is called, uh, hang on, which is which? I believe this is Tao, uh, this is Queen, yeah. Queen, as you can see, is like a cooler red, and Exhibit A is more like orangey. So let me quickly swatch Queen here. It's like more, look at that. Let me do it here. That's Queen from the Wanted 2 palette and that's Exhibit A. So this is more orangey as you can see. 
and then there is a penthouse i think hang on penthouse yes penthouse or ambition i'm not sure it's like a coral but this is a true coral uh not pinky coral like torrid torrid is more pink as you can see But it looks more red too. Actually, it's more pink, but look at that. It kind of turns red. And this is more of a true uh, like coral, like a light, like a creamsicle color, right? It's more creamsicle, I feel. And then what else do we have? Uh, yeah, there's this one that kind of looks like savage because it's more plum. So that is that color. This is Savage. Oh, that one. That one. My ring finger is Savage. And I feel this one is more brown. And from the Wanted palette is more reddish. I need something to wipe my fingers. And what else? Uh, let's compare it with the Orgasm palette. Because the orgasm palette, we do have a red and a plum. See these two red and plums, but the others are very different. We do have the color orgasm. We're just gonna swatch here. Oh, whoa, what's happening? We do have the color orgasm, something wrong. <laughs> Let me come a little closer. Yeah, now it's better, I think. Thank God. So that's orgasm. And there is like a orangey color there. Uh, this is torrid, right? This kind of looks very different, honestly. They all kind of look golden. And this shade, I know it like looks like a, a blush. But it's a very highlighter shade for on at least on me. Unlike Torrid, Torrid is a very it's 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 definitely a blush Torrid at least on my skin tone. So I know they kind of have are in the color family, but they are very very different on the skin. It's something I want to point out. And and this one too. Um, this is also it can uh, this is orgasm and it can be used as a highlighter too on my skin tone, but. Torrid, again, like a pinky coral, is definitely a blush and it's more red. So I know they all kind of look similar, but they are very, very different on the skin. So I'm going to swatch the red and the plum color from, there you go, from the Orgasm on the Beach palette. This one looks very similar to Savage, I'm not going to lie. I'm going to swatch Savage right next to it. There you go, look at that, Savage. And that plum color from Orgasm on the Beach. These two are actually pretty similar. And the red from the Orgasm on the Beach is very red. This is more orangey. This is from the Cheek Quad. This is very orangey. I'm not gonna lie. So lots of comparison. Very confusing, right? Um, what else do we have? I think this one, this watermelon. Sorry, this one, this guy, what is this called? Exposed palette. Uh, this is more pinky. These two are, I feel, more pink. I know it looks so red, but they are very uh, magenta, pinky shades, not red at all. They are very, very different. Look at that, they are so watermelony. They are very different, look at that. This is actually a more pink palette. So that's why I don't think there are a lot of comparisons with the Exposed palette and the Nars Orgasm uh, palette and the Wanted palette, they are all leaning more red and coral. But this is this is quite unique. This is more pink. There is like a plum color right there. Let me swatch right next to Exposed. Oh, wow. The plum colors from the Orgasm on the Beach and this is from the uh, Savage from the Cheek Quad and the Plum from the Wanted 2 palette. 
they all kind of look the same i gotta say they're all very very similar definitely like dupes so i think uh there are kind of dupes for the shade savage in all of the palette there's like a dupe for this in all of the palette but otherwise i don't see a lot of dupes to be honest this is again one downside for this palette is they all kind of look very reddish you'll see it in the demo while my skin went from a little glowy to super glowy within like just like 10 minutes this is crazy so yeah that's the only downside i feel so you 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 know what just wait around for the demo section and you will know what i mean they all look very reddish and kind of very glowy and like i said no highlighter i'm not wearing any highlighter today all the cheek glow like goes all credit goes to these blushes so yeah hope you guys uh found this video interesting comparisons useful uh definitely take a look at the demo and the tutorial to see how these like apply on the cheeks and how well they go on and everything and hope uh this video is useful leave your comments down below and interact with me i would absolutely love what you think uh yeah that's how we'll head over to the tutorial section complete this makeup look for mattes i'm using this pat mcgrath's mega divinity celestial something like that I'm just gonna be using they only have one transition shade that dusty rose I'm just gonna use that just gently dust it not too much just like that and I'm gonna be using they have two dark shadows one is purple where's the purple somewhere oh this is a purple and this is a reddish brown so I'm just gonna be using the reddish brown just the reddish brown just not too much I'm not gonna wing it out or anything. I'm using the same brush. Just emphasize the outer V of the lids. That is it. I'm just gonna go in and use this Pat McGrath quad. I don't know what this is called, ritualistic rose. I'm not entirely sure, but I will look it up and put it down below. And I'm gonna be using just this I know it looks so pink actually it doesn't look anything <laughs> okay now now you guys see it looks pink but on my skin tone the pink doesn't show up it's a very light pink so it just shows up like gold basically so I'm just gonna get some from my finger and just putting it all over the lid all over the lid it's a beautiful color but beautiful gold it's a very yellow gold but the duochrome is just completely missing at least on my skin tone it's not there that is it and then let's wipe my hands and i'm gonna use oh man inner corner highlighter brush okay got it a brush and i'm gonna be using this pale gold so basically it's gonna look like a monochromatic gold look you're not gonna see a lot of difference as you can see just is just one look and I'm gonna use this that blue that you see is Kat Von D uh, sorry Kat Von D KVD Beauties uh, super brow long wear pomade that's how they like introduced it but then they kind of like uh, position themselves a little differently now it's called pomade eyeliner eyebrow whatever you want to use it you can use it for you know what i mean so because if they had like marketed it a little differently when they first launched i might have gotten it the reason i didn't get it because it was like pomade and all the promo pics were all like colorful eyebrows not like eyeliner or eye base nothing like that but now they have changed their marketing completely i'm just this is detail liner brush from eco tools and just watch how beautifully it glides on at that it's so creamy and also long lasting it doesn't crack it doesn't like um i mean when you first apply it it's super vibrant but once it dries down it's not like so so bright as you see in the pot but it's it stays true to its color it's a beautiful blue color and yeah so i'm gonna be um putting some eyeliner and mascara and i will be right back. back with eyeliner mascara and all that things 
Um, so let's take a look at this palette and let's play around. So I thought I'd use um, the darker colors at the back and the lighter colors in the front. So let's start with Exhibit A, this orangey. Uh, I'm using like, this is an elf brush, this very old elf, elf brush. This is not exactly dense. So I'm using that for um, to apply the blush. You can see I picked up only a little, but it's pretty pretty pigmented. Just blending it. That's exhibit exhibit A. Let's see what I believe this is darker than this one. Hang on, let's see which is darker. The plum or I think the orange is darker, right? The plum is a little bit lighter. So let's do the orange on this side. Orange is very much like a highlighter, to be honest. I am seeing um, the pigment, but it's definitely a shimmery blush. You can see that. You can see my natural skin color and then this orangey skin. So yeah, it's nice. So let's just gonna quickly clean my brush and go for the lighter color. I think this is Torrid. Torrid, yeah? Yeah, it's Torrid. So I'm gonna pick up some Torrid and gonna put it high points on the cheeks. Just right there and yeah, you can see it's showing up. It's showing up actually more redder for some reason than coral, if you ask me. I don't know. It's like a very pale red for some reason, not like a pinky coral as, as how it actually looks like. So let's get some of this, the other color. What's this called? Savage. Getting savage and I'm gonna put some right there. Savage is actually red too. <laughs> it's pretty red. So I have a ton of dark colors on my cheek. I'm not gonna lie, they all kind of look Hang on, where's the big brush? Because we need to do a lot of blending. All kind of did look similar. Now it's good. I think that was better, right? I already have um, powder on my face, believe it or not. And still I'm so shiny, but I, I already had like a, a glowy powder. Laura Geller's Brighten and Glow Powder on my cheeks already. So yeah, with all the shimmery blush and everything, it all already looks I have looks like I have highlighter on. Not here, but here when I smile, you can see a beautiful like glow, the high points of my cheek. So you can use some of these also as like a glowy blush or like a blush toned highlighter too. So yeah, so that's about it. So I hope you guys like this little demo and this uh, eye tutorial and this makeup look. I uh, hope this helped you make a decision whether you want to get this palette or not. Tell me what you what you plan to do. Are you getting the palette or are you just like gonna get one of these? Because all of these are available as singles. I'm positive Taj Mahal and Exhibit A is, um, they are available in the full, full size. Torrid too, I think. I don't know about Savage, but I think all these three are available in the full size by themselves. So what do you guys, what are your thoughts? What are you guys going to do? Let me know down in the comments down below and give this video a thumbs up if you liked watching it and also subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you guys very soon. Bye. -bye.